my name is Kat and today I'm doing the Would You Rather 2.0 book tag. So I did the original version of this tag last year and when I saw there was a 2.0 version created by Stake Uchino, I knew I had to do this version as well. I haven't been tagged to do this that I'm aware of, but I wanted to, so let's do this. Question one, would you rather do only review videos or tag videos? I really like tag videos because they're very fun and accessible, like you don't have to read a certain book in order to watch or enjoy a tag video. But on the other hand, review videos are probably my favorite kind of video to watch and my favorite to make when I'm really excited about the book. I don't like making review videos for every book I read because I don't have the time or passion to do so, but when I love a book, making a discussion video for it is one of my favorite things to do. So if I had to choose, I would probably do only review videos, but I definitely keep doing videos that are kind of like tags, but not technically tags, like my top 10 scary books or something like that, because I love a good loophole. Question two is, would you rather always see the film version first or never see the film version of books? This one's not so hard for me because I love seeing book to movie adaptations and there's a lot of book to movie adaptations these days. So while seeing the movie version first before reading the book is not my ideal way of doing things, it's definitely preferable to just never seeing the movie. Question three is, would you rather have a list of every single book you've ever read, kind of like Goodreads from birth, or still have the physical copy of the first book you ever read. I'm not a very sentimental person, so having a physical copy of the first book I ever read isn't really a big deal for me. And I'm kind of lazy, so if I don't have to be in charge of generating this list and adding to this list, it just like appears to me, I, I would prefer that. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Question four is, would you rather have an active in-person book club of non-booktubers or get to have lunch with your best booktube buddy once a year? I mean, I already do get to have lunch with my best booktube buddies at least once a year at various bookish conventions and events. So if I'm already doing that and that isn't gonna be like taken away from me or anything, I do think it would be really cool to have an in-person book club that's kind of separate from booktube. I prefer my booktube book club, but it would be nice to have like a real life setting to discuss books with friends. Question five, would you rather have the time to read every book you want to read or the money to buy every book you want to buy? I love my book collection. I love owning lots of books, but I would rather have the time to read everything I want to read. I'm already fortunate enough to be able to buy most books that I want to buy, but I do not always have the time to read everything I want to read. Also, I kind of feel like time travel or time manipulation or immortality should be involved with this option of having enough time because it just it doesn't exist in your average real day so i i feel like i want to be immortal so i can read all the books i want question six would you rather dreamcast the film or have editing power over the script of the film version of your favorite book. I would definitely prefer to have editing power over the script. Someone else can be in charge of casting and I will just trust that they do a good job at that. But the script is so, so important. I would rather watch a movie with a great script and all right acting than a movie with great acting and a script that needs help. Also, even if you're dream casting the movie, that doesn't guarantee that they're going to perform well. Whereas if I am editing the script and have full control over that, I can at least control that aspect of the movie and make sure that turns out well. Question seven, would you rather have your favorite fictional superpower or your favorite fictional technology? I would really love to have like a hoverboard and or a spaceship 
but I feel like having a superpower would be a lot more fun than having the cool tech toys. Also, my favorite fictional superpower would be like time travel or immortality and again, I'm just, I'm all about that. Question eight, would you rather read an amazing story with a meh ending or a meh story with an amazing ending? I feel like the ending of a book is what really lingers with you. Like if it's an amazing book but it has a meh ending, then you kind of leave that book feeling disappointed. But if it's an all right book with a fantastic ending, then you leave the book feeling like it was worth it and like the beginning middle parts built up to this explosive finale and overall you consider it a good book or at least I do so that's what I would go with the met book with the awesome ending question nine would you rather not be able to read in a moving vehicle or not be able to read laying down I do most of my reading sitting so not really laying down or in moving vehicles. I'm not in a lot of moving vehicles, period. So I think I'll keep the ability to read while laying down and whenever I'm in a moving vehicle, I will listen to an audiobook because loophole. Question 10, would you rather be able to reread your favorite book or series with fresh eyes or be able to unread your biggest disappointment? This one is super easy for me because first of all, I wouldn't want to unread my biggest disappointment. Even though it disappointed me, I still learned from it. Like I learned about what I like in books and I learned what I should avoid when I write my own books. Also, also, I would love to be able to reread the Harry Potter series with fresh eyes. I just think it would be amazing to be able to go into that series and experience it all again for the first time. And finally, there's one last bonus question here, and that is, would you rather go to Hogwarts or live in Middle Earth? And this one is also really easy for me to answer because I am all about Hogwarts. I mean, it's a magical school like just sign me the hell up all right there you have it that was the would you rather 2.0 booktube edition book tag that is a mouthful and that is all I had for this video today thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have a great night and I will have another video up soon so I will see you then goodbye <laughs>